know that for a really long time, people with disability did not have the same rights and freedoms as people without disability? We were not treated equally. People thought we needed to be cared for, and we weren't even allowed to make decisions about our own lives. It wasn't until the 1970s that things really started to change through the disability rights movement. Most people thought about disability in terms of what doctors said our minds and bodies could or couldn't do. But as the disability rights movement grew stronger, people started to understand that disability is actually about how our society makes it hard for some people to participate. Think about the way our society works. It's built for people whose bodies and minds work in a particular way. And that may make it difficult for some people whose bodies and minds work in a different way. The word disability is like a big umbrella covering a whole range of stuff. It includes my friend, who is hard of hearing, and my dad, who has depression and gets really sad sometimes. And it includes me. Sometimes I mix my letters and numbers. This is a disability called dyslexia. It's like this. Sometimes people have difficulty seeing, learning, walking, thinking, or hearing. Or they may face challenges that other people don't. This is referred to as having a disability. One in five Australians identify as having a disability. That's a lot of people. You might not realise just how many because you can't always see someone's disability. Like, no one can see my dyslexia just by looking at me. Sometimes people with disability may need support. My friend wears hearing aids to help her hear. My neighbour has a guide dog to help her move around safely. And I have a support teacher to help me out at school. I really like my support teacher. She helps me heaps. But some people with disability don't need or want help from anyone else. And that's their choice. So don't just assume that someone needs help because they have a disability. You should always ask them first. Remember the disability rights movement? Australia has come a long way in respecting the rights of people with disability. But there's still a lot further to go. Unfortunately, many people with disability still face discrimination. That means they aren't treated fairly. That's why it's important to always try to be as inclusive as you can be. There are many ways we can make our world more inclusive so everyone can join in on the fun. Like having captions on TV and movies. Or giving your classmate with autism spectrum disorder space and quiet when they need it. Or using respectful language. That's really important too. People with disability have the same rights and freedoms as everyone. As human beings, we should all be respected and treated fairly. Being inclusive helps everyone, including people with disability, have the same access to opportunities so they can reach their full potential and shine. Sometimes to do this, we need to make some changes in the way we work, the way our homes and other buildings are built, the way we learn, and even the way we watch movies. But it's worth it, because it makes our world better for everyone. And that's only fair, right?